animals are a huge part of our lives. And because we live in such close proximity with them, there's no doubt of the intrinsic link between human health and animal health. When one is at risk, the other will be affected. This, according to a recent report, Healthy Animals, Healthy Canada. There's been a lot of changes around the world in the last few years. Um, the way we travel, the way the populations are distributed, and uh, climate change. So these are changing the way animal and human health events occur and how they interact. We've had a number of emerging and re-emerging diseases over the last few years, West Nile, SARS, BSC, pandemic H1N1. And so we need to relook at how we're conducting the risk assessments that help us make decisions about managing risk. The number of new emerging diseases, and this has a lot to do with the amount of travel around the world and the risk of infection occurring, has increased. And having that capacity and to be vigilant that in the event something uh, serious were to present itself, that we would be ready as a country. Overall, a panel of 12 experts found Canada to be at the forefront of animal health risk assessment practices. But in order to stay there, a number of things need to happen, including improved communication, enhanced transparency, strengthening expertise and knowledge capacity, and considering a broader range of consequences related to an animal health event. We are constantly dealing with risk assessments in every market that uh, we sell our cattle and our beef products into as well. Uh, we invest heavily in ensuring that our animal health programs are amongst the best in the world. And at the same time, it's important as we take a look at emerging risks, that as a country we have a foreign animal disease preparedness. And that's really getting the risk managers, working with the risk assessors, communicating that risk effectively. So we need to look at that whole broad range and we can't just say animal health, we have to say what are the animal health consequences, what are the human health consequences, and how do they interplay with the environment. The expert panel now hopes the report will be taken into consideration by the federal government and its agencies, as well as a broad range of stakeholders. Nicole Fletcher, Shaw TV, Calgary.